Hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Jungkook accidentally revealing to us his specific body part at an award show. This popped up recently on my feed and I think we're all dying from it still. I also want to get into a recent moment where an idol on a TV show confessed to a love and J-Hope and what they want to do. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification but also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is Jungkook's little body part reveal. This is insane. This was something I did not notice before, but has resurfaced and gone viral on the tweetster. Us armies always go crazy when we see pictures or anything that gives us a sneak peek of Jungkook's body. Jungkook has also mentioned how much us armies love his abs and therefore he will keep them for us. So we also know he definitely tries to maintain abs for armies as well, which is something to be proud of. Takes a lot of discipline because I can't even maintain a sleep schedule. What is sleeping? As of right now, there's a tweet going around with over 30,000 likes on it of Jungkook talking about this outfit he was wearing and everyone's freaking out. They're going preggers. My husband is about to have all sorts of children in September and October. I'm pregnant too. So back when BTS did the Grammys, Jungkook dressed in all black, looking like a snack. He was wearing a black blazer and wearing a black turtleneck on the inside, I believe. And I think this photo was a screenshot from a behind the scenes moment. And I think Jungkook took off his blazer and just showed his turtleneck. I mean, only international playboys wear black turtlenecks. It's a sign of being a player, getting all the boys and the girls. It's really hot. But it wasn't just that. People were noticing his uh, boobies, if you will. And it just shows how buff he is. We haven't seen a shirtless Jungkook in a while. Like it's absolutely been a long time. I mean, for all we know, he could have had a dad bod right about now. Also like that would be so attractive. I hope he can decide to show us his glorious abs that he has worked so hard to have one day again. People were really zooming in there on the photo of Jungkook's boobies, his chesticle. And there were some people on the tweetster that had this to say after people started talking about turtlenecks. And people realized this was not about turtlenecks itself. Is this really about turtlenecks? Because I'm getting distracted. We absolutely passed the conversation of turtlenecks. This is on how godly Jungkook looks. I can't believe it. Can he run for god of the planet? Like how do I petition for this? He also must only wear turtlenecks every day. I want to be constantly preggers every time I look at him. Another person on the tweetster wrote, How to breathe, bye. Me when BTS blinks or does anything. I'm just like Google typing in, How to breathe because I forgot. And I am no longer okay. Jungkook really thinks he can show his pecs to us and we will survive. Oh boy, is he wrong. He is so wrong. I cannot believe he has the audacity. If he does ever actually show his abs or anything like that again on TV, I don't think I will live. But I'm glad that this tweet appeared on my feed. I was so not ready to be choked this morning. But this is what happens when you're in the BTS fandom. You wake up to photos and you pass right back out again. Normal day. I love seeing our babies on TV and just overall doing really cute things. They don't appear too much on Korean TV anymore. But I definitely hope that they will. Basically, if you did not know, BTS stopped appearing on Korean TV. TV, I believe because they weren't being treated very well. I don't know if it was just the people in the industry not believing in BTS. Specifically, I think because there was a rule back a few years ago that any group with like seven members is bound to fail. So obviously BTS proved them wrong. So now there's groups with like 14 members and they do just fine. But a lot of these Korean TV shows would kind of treat BTS poorly, which is why they started Run BTS or Bon Voyage, where basically we can still see them do the things idols do on variety shows without BTS having to go on variety shows and have a bad time. I love that for them. And that's definitely so bold to take things in their own hands and just do it. I also think if it makes a lot of money for them too, so if it's making BTS money and they're happy, it's a no-brainer, right? But recently, J-Hope was invited to come to a Korean TV show by this idol who confessed how much he loved J-Hope and would love to have a friendship with J-Hope. This is on the variety show named I Live Alone. And now J-Hope has apparently hinted towards wanting to be on this show. This is an unscripted show and makes it appear like a reality show. So that type of style and it's mainly to show the lives of celebrities who live alone and what their life is. I haven't seen this show, but I would imagine it's probably something J-Hope is used to because he has filmed so many of his own reality TV shows. Now, if BTS now wants to join variety shows, they can. I mean, no one is going to say or do anything disrespectful because they would really want BTS there. So I think the days of them getting mistreated by Korean media might be over. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think so. Now, J-Hope was invited to be on the Korean TV show after the TV show had reacted to J-Hope on Weverse, talking about how he wanted to be 
me on the show, where he mentions how he wishes to appear on a variety show that showcases the everyday lives of celebrities who live alone. Does J-Hope live alone? I actually have no idea. I thought he would be spending most of his time in the BTS dorm, but J-Hope confessed this on the Weverse interview and seemingly seemed like a big fan of the show. Aside also from the cast being big fans of J-Hope, one of the other cast members, Park, mentioned how J-Hope would improve the ratings of the show. So amazingly enough, they decided to send J-Hope a little video message that was so sweet. One of the cast members of the show named Kian, and he was very excited to send J-Hope a little video message. Chances are J-Hope does watch this, so he would be happy and welcome to get a message so randomly as he is just enjoying the show. Little side note, imagine how weird it is on your day off, you're watching TV, and the show just randomly starts talking about you. They pull up pictures of you, and they invite you to the show. That has to be a weird feeling. Anywho, Kian said he doesn't know if J-Hope knows him, but Kian knows J-Hope and loves him. He wishes to meet him and loves J-Hope's dancing. His exact words were, I really want to meet you. J-Hope, I'm curious to know what kind of life you live. As a BTS fan, I love your dances. I think that's a full-blown fanboy right there. I would love to see J-Hope on the show. I think it'll be fun for him. Also, it could be a very fun way to promote his possible new mixtape, since J-Hope did mention he is planning on a second mixtape. So I would love to start seeing J-Hope on TV, promoting that. No doubt there'll be a segment in there where we might see his music process, or even hear a little leakage of music. I love leakage of music. I'm so glad to hear about this. And of course, I wanted to see what some people were saying over on El Tweetster. One person wrote, J-Hope never lives alone because he's always lives with Jimin and BTS members. Well, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking maybe he would have to film it in his own house or maybe set aside a few days to not live with anyone. It's a very interesting concept. Like I would imagine people want to see celebrities be with their other celebrity friends, but I guess living alone is a little bit more relatable. Maybe that's the appeal. I don't know. I do like that they're so welcoming. And of course, if this is J-Hope's wish to be on the show, then us armies, we must let Big Hit know and get them to allow J-Hope on the show. A full episode or several episodes of J-Hope on a reality TV show will be a blessing for us. I think it's interesting where American celebrity reality shows, they try to capture like every spaz moment and they get you to hate to love the celebrity sort of thing. Whereas in Korea, the reality shows are way more chill and it's just us watching the celebrity eat or cook and maybe talk about some of their friends. It's really chill and fun. The reality show they filmed called In The Soup was like this. I do react to it on my Patreon. We're almost done with the series and you can go check it out if you wanna catch up. But I would love to see J-Hope live his life. I think J-Hope would be perfect for this show as he is very funny and bright. He has a very sunny personality and is just like a ball of sunshine. So he will be addicting to watch. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring it in this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright, it getting taken down and all that stuff, so I do keep it over there. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs>